What's really nice about these Weekend of One Axe plays are their 10 minute kind of uh, capsules of entertainment, of fun, of hilarity, we hope. Uh, there's nobody better than uh, Rowan Atkinson. He's a British comedian who for years made a living at taking 10 minute skits and making them hysterical and moving on. Uh, Carol Burnett did it in the 70s and early 80s. Uh, and her stuff is perfect for a 10 minute play. It's just as hilarious. Uh, but when you deal with one person, a one act play, it's hard to beat Rowan Atkinson. Rowan can take something mundane and turn it into this great bouquet full of hilarity and magic. And that's why we like to pay homage to Rowan Atkinson uh, just about every time we do these kind of things. I think there's two Rowan Atkinson plays this evening. Uh, basically, it's, uh, it's kind of like a, a guideline, um, a humorous guideline uh, for, for guys that you know, don't, re uh, don't really know. Yeah, the do's, the do's and don'ts of dating. I thought another physical actor that I had gotten to, to know fairly well when I did the uh, murder mystery last Christmas was uh, Perry Hall. And Perry Hall uh, is that kind of lovable dork. <laughs> he's gonna hate me for saying that. He's the lovable dork, you know, where he he can be he can be like a dorky character that you just love. He's got this whole script he's reading, and I have to act it out like the the actor I am, the Seth Spin, if you will. Yes, yes, very uh, improvisational, like. When we did the murder mystery last year, he played a uh, professor, I don't remember the professor's name, he played a professor in the, uh, the murder mystery that everybody just kind of fell in love with because it was Perry, you know? And I'm hoping that the same magic happens with this one uh, regarding elementary dating. We are using some of the, uh, most of the elements of the original and kind of put a little spice on it. Uh, a little flair. A little flair. Perry has worked very hard on this performance. And uh, as far as a one-man act goes, I think he can pull it off. Uh, I don't know. I hope they laugh. I hope it's. I hope it's a. I hope it's a good one. I hope it's not me just, you know, doing things silently, and everyone's like, okay, uh, "When's Jimmy up?" <laughs> good evening. Welcome to the uh, Shoestring Players Theater. Uh, for the second of our third part on uh, introductory dating for men. Um, might I say how pleased I am to see the turnout this evening. Uh, full house almost, which is exceptionally gratifying, hopefully for both, both sexes. Uh, last week we discussed personal hygiene and how important it was in the bedroom. <laughs> this week we're going to take a look at the first date. Obviously, taking a girl out on a first date can be a very complex situation. That being said, I have located well-renowned dating therapist, Professor Pugh, to uh, help us out this evening. Uh, please make sure you take notes on this. <clears throat> when it comes to dating, the first crucial step is having already arranged to pick your date up is uh, not to look like a complete freaking idiot when she opens the door. <laughs> Or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> Honestly, it's best if you almost look distracted when she opens the door, not to be too eager. <laughs> But when you do notice her, it is vital that you tell her how good she looks right away. But don't overdo it. to her parents, attitude is all important. 
don't be too casual. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't be too keen. <laughs> When you've said goodbye to the parents, again, please don't overdo it. tasting it, but please don't be too professional.
So finally, when the meal does arrive, again, moderation is the order of the day. You don't want to eat too fast. talk over the music, so stand casually and try to look sexy. So they do too much. Now, so 
some people dance like they got something got coming up their butt. And yet other people dance like there's something coming out of their <laughs> You know, in Dr. Pugh's case, it might just be best not to dance at all. And honestly, a well-faked sports injury is always the greatest excuse to get out of the club. <laughs> and if you don't utterly foul it up 20 minutes later, you should be at your place. as you, and there's really no need to make any extra effort.
comes the night of the evening you all are interested in learning about the seduction. <laughs> Which is the subject of next week's lecture. <laughs> However, as a rough guide, we can at the very least take a small preview of the seduction. This is right. And this, I believe you will all agree, is quite disastrous. <laughs> Particularly disastrous, Doc, when her husband comes home. <laughs> take at the beginning of the uh, seminar, please disregard those. Um, what I want you to do is read chapters four and five for next week, and uh, shit, I gotta stop hiring speakers off of J-Day. <laughs> <laughs>